Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today is another Bulgarian training day. I figure, you know, I might as well just do most of these every week. I, I do this stuff seven days a week, although, like I said, Sunday I only did squats and a little bit of work on my grip and stuff like that. But I at least squat every day, and usually, bare minimum, what I want to do is, is what I did today. Uh, I hit a daily minimum on a squat, my closed grip, pause bench, and weighted chin-ups. Uh, those are really important lifts. Those are my three worst lifts right now. Some people don't seem to realize that, that technically you go look at charts, my overhead press and deadlifts and stuff are actually a lot better uh, for my body weight. So these are what I'm trying to put the most emphasis on. The other stuff's still getting trained. Uh, and we'll talk about deadlifts more later. I'm going to work, work in some stuff on that coming up soon. Uh, but the goal right now is to get my three lifts minimum. I want to start doing four lifts every day and some days five. I did five lifts yesterday, all right, five lifts yesterday. Uh, it left me fatigued. I felt off today. So the whole thing with this is you can build work capacity on Bulgarian style training as long as your fatigue management and sleep and everything are in place. And it just takes time to deal with the accumulated workload. Uh, and today, I just felt off today. I felt off today, although I do like the abbreviated uh, ramp up sets because I don't really need to warm up that much. As you guys notice, I fall right into my groove on squats, even though they felt off today. Um, you know, when you're squatting every day, it's just not a big deal to do a couple of ramp up singles and then get right to your work weight because you're, you're used to it. Your mobility is there, your connective tissue is there. It's really not a big deal. It, it, the people who need more and more warm ups are generally people who have a low training frequency. Uh, but when you're doing it every day, you just need enough warm up to get in and do it. Um, there are other people who do Bulgarian style training who legitimately think warming up is kind of silly. I'm not going to get into all that because I don't fully agree with that. Uh, but today I hit, just hit my daily minimum on my squat and it felt a little slower and heavier than normal. Um, that's okay. It's okay. So I did my 435 and, you know, just lived with it. It's like even there, my 375, it felt a little bit off. It actually looked okay in video. It felt off a little bit. But looking at the difference, uh, like yesterday's 435 versus today's, I went to, to look at the footage and checked it, and it took me longer to lock it. Yesterday, from the stop at the bottom, when I did frame by frame, it took 1.8 seconds uh, to do my concentric on my 435 yesterday. Today, it took a full two seconds, maybe even 2.05. So it's at least a two second rep. Uh, so, you know, again, sign I'm having a little bit of fatigue building up because I, I haven't had a day off from squatting in a while now. And we're going to keep adding to this. It's my daily minimum. I'm going to try to start bringing it up five pounds uh, every week from here. So probably next week we'll take this 435 to 440 and then the next week 445. Uh, and I'm hoping I can do that all the way to 500. Uh, bench press, yeah, because there's no, he's becoming a problem today. He's really wanting to be playful. Uh, <laughs> he's being so playful today. He just wants attention so bad. And if he's already been walked already once this morning. I need to take him for another walk here in a bit because um, he's just so hyper today. But, yeah, so I always, I, I do a little bit with the empty bar on my first press of the day just to get everything moving, make sure my shoulders are actually mobile and everything. And then we go right into it. Uh, I stopped at the 305 today. That's my daily minimum. That's what I did. That's what I did. Uh, and it was enough. So again, we got the 155. Uh, and again, the same thing. It was a slightly off day. But that's the thing people need to remember. These Bulgarian days, it doesn't matter. When you have off days, you still got to get in and lift what you can lift. Um, it's still about accumulated fatigue. And that's the point, is that when you do training like this, your daily minimums eventually reach a threshold to where most people are like shocked because oftentimes daily minimums get up there towards really high numbers and that's what i had found before uh when messing with this that you'd be surprised what your daily minimums start trending into i mean i know at one point for me last time i had done this like my daily minimum on the squat was up to like 475 i was just had no problem doing that every single day um, same thing, I was benching like 325, pause, close grip every day. We'll get there again and pass that because the thing is I don't have the distractions now. I don't have distractions. So we can get in and do this stuff every day. Um, and like I said, we're going to start rotating some deadlift type work in soon. We're going to start rotating in a little bit, a little bit of exercise variation. And I think what I'm going to do up next, you guys will see when I get my trap bar in because I got dipping handles, I got a trap bar ordered. 
I'm probably going to, for my fourth lift every day, alternate and make sure I just get the press three times a week and then a trap bar deadlift three times a week and keep working on my grip work. And when I get my basic deadlift strength back up to par with that to a point where I'm happy with it, then we'll, we'll rotate in the conventional deadlift again. But I want to have the hook grip down enough to where I can actually pull respectable weights. Um, but the hex bar will let me build basic strength. And I'll talk more about hex bar pulling later. I have bought a hex bar before. Um, and I, I know I come across as a barbell purist. I really do, but I'm not. What I have a problem with with hex bars are the high handle hex bars. That shit doesn't carry over to anything. That high handle trap bar deadlift, if you're an actual lifter, is, is completely worthless. I don't care. Oh, no, you can lift 800 pounds on it. It doesn't mean you can deadlift 600 or 650. So that's my problem. I don't have a problem with the hex bar. It's just the high handles because it turns it into a partial. Uh, but hex bars, I think, are a valuable training tool. Uh, very valuable. But yeah, the 305, it felt a little heavy today. I'm hoping because I'm not doing a second press today that I can probably hit 315 tomorrow. And I bet you I can because I decided to just do one session today. I might mess with some cleans uh, later and some grip work. But I'm not really counting that as training. It's just technique. So people are like, why aren't you putting that up? Well, because I don't feel that I'm technically proficient enough to teach people how to do it. So it's going to take me time to get my cleans down. Furthermore, the Olympic lifting purists just flip out when you put up bad technique on cleans. Like I can muscle clean way more than I can power clean right now. Because when I actually have to try to use technique, uh, I've got to take like 50 pounds off the bar. And that sounds counterintuitive, but that's how bad my technique is right now that I struggle to get within 50 pounds of what I can muscle clean. I can muscle clean 225 up all day long. I can't power clean 225. <laughs> it's kind of silly, isn't it? All right, so today that was really tough for me, but I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to dig in and see if I can get a dead hang PR. So I tried 75 today. Uh, it was hard. My left bicep hurts so bad after every weighted chin up that I need literally 15 minutes between attempts and that's one thing I, I don't always tell you guys and it's not because of the strength it's because my left bicep hurts uh, I have lost tissue in it and this is probably the hardest I'm making it train by doing these dead hang weighted chin ups and so it just throbs and like I said I hope that's breaking up some of that scar tissue because later in the day a couple hours later the pain's gone it feels good but it just it feels like someone is stabbing a knife right through the bicep and I have a channel through there of scar tissue and I suspect that's because it's putting strain on that scar tissue maybe maybe it'll do something beneficial but at least I'm getting stronger uh, I may loop this again so we can watch it again while I keep talking this was hard because I, I did a dead hang I made sure of it tried to get to the top right there I don't think I made it I did not feel any contact with my chest up there uh, I didn't feel my chest touch my hand at the top and looking at it, it looks like, come, like it came up a bit short from what I normally do. So yes, I got the dead hang. Yes, I got it moving. I could not quite get the last inch of the range of motion up there. Now, did I probably stimulate some strength gains from that and some muscle growth? Sure, it was a heavier weight and I pulled it from the dead hang. But is that a complete lift? Probably not. I guess it would depend on your personal standards. Just like with the other one before, I don't know if I want to count it. Yeah, I got some probably some stimulus from it, some training stimulus, but was it a good lift? Uh, I don't know about that. I'm probably not going to count it. I'll probably count it as, as no lift. It was real close. It was real close, and I'm glad I attempted it. Because sometimes you have to do some hard attempts and sometimes you're going to get some misses with this style of training. It is what it is. You dig in, you get the work done, you do what you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's a point that needs to be made with this. Because at a certain point, yes, weight on the bar matters, but your body doesn't always know weight on the bar. It knows tension, it knows fatigue, and it knows that you're basically hitting it with really heavy weights every day. And that is the way that this system of training works. And it works well. And so people are kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't stimulate hypertrophy. Well, sorry, everyone who's ever run it with a few exceptions claim the opposite. Plenty of people gain plenty of muscle on this system. A lot of people have said lately, Jason, you're growing. Well, how do you guys think I've been training the last month or two, couple months? You guys think I've been doing 10 rep sets? 
Think I've been doing high volume? No. So it, it works. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.